You're listening to KEXP. We're at 90.3 FM in Seattle, and you can find us online streaming around the world at kexp.org. I'm Cheryl Waters, host of the Midday Show, and I'm very excited to have our good friend Pete Quirk live in studio today. Welcome. Hi. Thanks for having me. I can't recall if we've had you by yourself before. We've certainly had you in many, many times. Yes, uh, mostly with the Cave Singers, but this is the first time I've played on here uh, just by myself. So. And, th- and this is your first uh, solo record, is that correct? That is correct, yeah, it is. It's my uh, first uh, solo project uh, that I wrote all the songs and, and stuff like that. So It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, it's called Fail On, Fail Better. Mm-hmm. I'm interested to talk more about it, but you sure. want to start us off with a couple tunes? You got it. Pete Quirk live on KEXP. I don't want to go back to the things we've done My past and present is rolling into one You don't have to tell me I already know Desert eagle as it shoots across your lawn. Oh, the war ain't over, it's blowing up at home. But he don't want to think back to the things he's done. He can't go back to a time when the past is moving on. Never forget to. That's when a song was a song That's when the weather got cold Trying to but you don't know how Pull that sword from your stone That's when a song was a song That's when my weather got cold Trying to but you don't know how Pull that sword from your stone some sort Oh, what a morning I wake up all alone Her bags are packed No notice given Her car is heating up Last words from a pretty wife Honey, let it go See there's birds in the morning light Tethered to a pole Will they let it go? I will tomorrow That's when a song was a song That's when the weather got cold Trying to but you don't know how Pull that sword from your stone That's when a song was a song when my weather got cold Trying to but you don't know how Pull that sword from your stone Pull that sword from your stone Pull that sword from your stone Pull your sword Beautiful. Uh, Pete Quirk live on KEXP Fail On, Fail Better his debut solo album, a voice we recognized for many, many years and uh, sounding so beautiful on these new solo songs. I'd announce an upcoming show while he's tuning his guitar, but uh, (laughs) Pete doesn't know when his next show is. You might have to check the Barboza website. He knows it's in September with Valley Maker, and this might be a good moment to... uh, Put a call out if anyone wants to be a social networking intern 
for Pete. <laughs> He's just I'm working on. <laughs> he promises to post the show on his Facebook page uh, for Pete Quirk. I am on Facebook. It's very charming that you <laughs> both presence. don't have the show listed on your Facebook page. <laughs> but thank you for posting this uh-huh. uh, today's in studio session. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, that only took me three hours. <laughs> I mean it. Anyone out there want to work with him? He's the nicest guy in the world, and uh, you can show him the ways of <laughs> Facebook and Twitter and the like. Thank you. Stars in a pyramid up in the sky. Holy burn right to clouds I'm clearing my mind now to let you go Standing by a river waiting for my skin to dry Sixteen before church Captain, will you pull my eyes down? Who's running this when no one knows? Some of them know me Some of them don't Some of them find love, some of them won't, some of them know me, as some of them do, some of them find their peace in this great unknown. In an old red barn where the fox go to hide Esmeralda comes to my home But she cannot sleep bed alone In the books you lend me As an old thou I grows up tall See there's a million people in the street tonight But do they know in their mind How to keep the law Some of them know me, some of them know, some of them will find love, why some of them won't, some of them know me, some of them do, some of them will find their peace in this great unknown. Oh, that's so beautiful. Pete Quirk is live here in the KEXP studios with us. That was lovely. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming in. Oh, yeah. I'm a longtime fan of your voice, going back to the Hint Hit days, mm-hmm. and, of course, with the Cave Singers. And it seems like that band just started. I remember when you played our uh, outdoor barbecue concert um, up the street. Oh, yeah. But it's been about 10 years now, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, Cave Singers started in 
2006, our first record came out in 2007. That's crazy. We're it is, yeah. So um, it's, you know, the the most successful relationship I've ever been in oh. by far. <laughs> well, with such a distinctive voice, um, um, it sort of begs the question, what made these songs um, something that you wanted to put a solo record out on as opposed to uh, a Cave Singers record? Sure. Um, well, Cave Singers uh, is really kind of a, a collaborative project so it couldn't just be like my songs they're really songs that kind of um come to be and that we find and that are delivered to us when we're kind of together so that makes those special in that way um and so these songs were more um songs that I kind of just wrote in a more solitary kind of way by myself um during kind of a really great and transformative time in my life which was about two or three years ago we were neighbors during that That's time, right, yeah. living in oh, East yeah. Lake, and mm-hmm. I sadly hear that you've um, moved out of the neighborhood. I have, yes. But tell me about that time. I read a little bit about it and heard mm-hmm. that it was a time following a breakup, but it's not really a breakup record, even though these songs are super personal sounding. No, I mean, that. I only did one other interview, and I and I was kind of flushing out for myself, I think, really, what was going on then. And and I was thinking, I mean, there was a breakup involved, but, but more... Um, there was just, uh, yeah, just I, I just started to to change in a really great way, and and started to just um, have new experiences in my life, and uh, and all this was kind of happening uh, in East Lake in this little apartment, and um, and uh, and I was kind of going to school and, and stuff like that, and uh, and then these these songs kind of just started to appear, and I was also playing guitar, and. Um, but it was just really a beautiful time in my life. Um, and it was a lot of change and a lot of unknown and a lot of uncertainty. Um, but I really, I think I tried to embrace that. And uh, and so these songs were kind of just sort of trying to tell that story in a way of, of that time. And it sounds like you spent a lot of that time by yourself and that mm-hmm. was something that you really came to relish. Yeah, I re- you know, I did and um, yeah, it, there was something about that apartment in that time that was kind of um, transcendent, and uh, and and I hadn't been living in the most healthy of ways and things like that uh, prior to that. So this was a time of kind of um, of a lot of changes and a lot of getting to know myself on a kind of more pure, pure way, and 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 just having fun, hanging out by myself, and and exploring this music and and different art and stuff like that, you know. So. And is that just a period of time, or do you feel like you've sort of um, moved on and continued with what you gained and learned from that period? Uh, yeah, I think it just continues. Yeah. <laughs> That's wonderful. Mm-hmm. So you wrote these songs in this time that you spent in Eastlake, and mm-hmm. when did you decide it was time to record them, and uh, how did you do that? Uh, well, the first, first I was like, wow, I have like 10 songs, you know, well, how'd that happen, you know, in between like Law & Order episodes and stuff. Um, but... Uh, and then I, I always wanted to play a show um, by myself just to see if I could do it, and and kind of and kind of the minimalism of just a guitar and a voice, and and uh, and so around the time I had enough songs, um, I started thinking about recording, uh, but more playing a show. And um, what was that first show like? Ugh, it was uh, it was great. Uh, it was an amazing experience. But I remember on the the maybe the second song. Um, I was playing and I opened up for my friend and it was almost like all friends in the audience and, and, uh, and I was like kind of thinking, you know, it's funny because you're thinking while you're singing. So it's like kind of, and you have to, but I was like, wow, I'm, I'm really doing this, you know? (laughs) And then I had that like kind of crying, laughing, I feel like I'm going to explode feeling and I messed up the words and I was like, okay, that's a great feeling, but put that to the side right now because you have to. You have to keep going. But uh, I felt um, exhilarated and amazing afterwards. It, it, you know, it's funny playing for so many friends. You couldn't be in a more loving and supportive and non-judgmental crowd. But that's probably when you're the most nervous. It's probably easier to play for strangers. Yeah, totally. I was like somebody was uh, somebody on this show was talking about how one, their, one of their first shows was like at a, 
like a high school talent show or something and said, and then they played Glastonbury in front of 70,000 people. And they're like, I'll never be as nervous as I was when I played in front of, you know, all my high school classmates. So it was kind of the same feeling because I know all these people and sometimes it's easier to be anonymous and, and, uh, but it was still great, you know, but I was, I was super nervous. Well, it's a good thing you've got a few shows under your belt yeah. now because you're playing to millions of listeners all oh, over boy. the world <laughs> right now here on KEXP, but uh, you don't know most of them. No. So, but I know you've got a few friends listening today. We're so excited to have you here in studio. Pete Quirk, live on KEXP and a new album, Fail On, Fail Better. You put that out yourself. Is that correct? Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. And that's available now? People could go to that? Yeah, that's on uh, Bandcamp, and I also um, figured out how to get it on iTunes, so it should be on iTunes. Wonderful. And, and, I'll ha and I have uh, sort of like some homemade CDs and stuff at shows uh, that I'll be selling too, so... And again, that show coming up next month at Barboza. And Barboza, Barboza has a lot of great shows coming oh, yeah. up, so you should just go to their calendar yeah. and uh, keep strolling through totally. until you find it. If you go every night in <laughs> September, you'll wind up seeing me at some point. Although someone <laughs> better send you an email so you know what night to show up. I know. <laughs> well, we're glad you showed up today. Pete yeah. Quirk live on KEXP. Want to play us another song? Sure. Sometimes you're hanging on too long. We've been 
hanging on too long hanging on too So lovely. You know, while you were singing that, I was wondering, when you were a kid, did you have a voice like that, like when you sang along with the class? <laughs> <laughs> I did, actually. No. <laughs> Such a great voice. Oh, love it. <laughs> it's funny, when I was a kid, I, uh, I was thinking about this last night. I was, like, practicing in my house for this. And uh, I used to, like, carry around a little, like, tape recorder. I think it was my dad's, like, from his, like... Uh, work and he didn't use any little micro and I used to like like sing weird little songs into it oh how I wish we could get a hold of it oh my god (laughs) who knows Pete Quirk is live here in the KEXP studios I think he's got time for one more great sorry about all this tuning well we want to get it just right yeah (laughs) oh yeah Speed into the pond in the nighttime. 
Thank you so much. Fail on, fail better, the new album from Pete Quirk. It's so great to have you here today. Thanks for having me. You've got a tune to KEXP Seattle. Discover great music at kexp.org.